The sky from the Rigi Mountain at 4.50 a.m. We are waiting for the sunrise. Good morning from Switzerland. We are here for the Swiss Grand Tour. If you have no idea what it is, it's a 1600 kilometer route through Switzerland guiding you uh, through the highlights. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning. <laughs> we are currently hiking to the, uh, well, not to the top, to a beautiful viewing point for the sunrise on Mount Rigi. So come along. The sun is coming out. Good morning, little friends. They're still chilling, they're still chilling. Gorgeous view of the Alps. I'm so happy we have good weather. Look at this. Isn't this like the Pinterest perfect picture for Switzerland? It's so pretty. Almost there. We're hiking up that. Well, is it a hill? Well, it's a rock at least. Wow, look at the view behind me. It's like I'm in front of a green screen, man. That's crazy. The sky already looks so pretty in pink. Look at this. Loco. We're just sitting here patiently waiting for the gorgeous sun to come up. Wow. Looks so beautiful. Man. Can you hear all the cows down there? Chillaxing, chillaxing. They're also watching the sunrise. Uh, there's a fox down there. What? Um, oh, you can see it right now. Wait. Guys, it's here. Can you see my finger? It's it's here. I think it's a fox. You can see it now. You can see it now. Oh, you you can barely see it with without zooming. I think it's a fox. Or is it a deer? I don't know. I can see it. Oh. Whoa, what is it? Gosh, look at the pink and purple sky over here and the Alps over there. Wow, this is loco. Oh man, seriously, my tummy hurts from the uh, from the raclette. Raclette. <laughs> raclette. <laughs> raclette. Raclette. I should just say it the Swiss way. Raclette. But um, it's quite cold, and we didn't really anticipate, or no one told us that the sun will be. Well, it's actually already up. Ooh, this is pretty. But because the top is in front of it, it will take a longer period of time before the sun comes up. So we're just going to shoot pictures with this beautiful and little... And yes, and walk up and down. Do a little bit of a workout <laughs> to stay warm because it's quite... Not, well, it's not cold. It's not cold at all, but it's quite windy up there. Yep. <laughs> understand why photographers love shooting pictures in the morning like honestly look at this golden glow look at this golden glow and Lynn with her beautiful blonde hair her hair is glowing with the Sun it's oh so pretty Wow so we obviously did a photo shoot over here but right now we are heading back down for breakfast saying goodbye unfortunately to this beautiful gorgeous Alps but it's definitely not the last time. We had a wonderful breakfast, recorded a video with Swiss snacks, and now we are checked out of the hotel on our way to the top of the Rigi. At the top of Rigi, Kulum, Kulum, Kulum. Pretty view. Wow. And the sheep took the best VIP panorama spot. Oh snap. Look at them chilling in the VIP area. Wow. It's so dramatic over here, but like dramatic in a gorgeous way. The sun is coming, some. The sun is coming out a little bit. So pretty, man. Dude, it's seriously so peaceful here. I love the fact that it's not too crowded. It's definitely not a very touristy mountain, which is freaking awesome. Cows and llamas. Cows and llamas. Oh, they're so cute. 
they're so pretty. They shouldn't spit on us though. All of the Swiss cows, look at them. Hello, pretty. Hello. Hello. You're looking beautiful. This is a dream come true. We're invited for a cow party. <laughs> cow party. Cow party. Oh, look at him being majestic and all on his lion rock. I'm so sorry I scared you. Wow, what is what is happening behind me? What is this? Some X-rated stuff, man. I think my little homie came back for me. Did you? I'm sorry I scared you. So sorry. Can I pet you? Are you mad at me? You're gonna mad be mad at me forever. Hello, honey. But your tongue scares me because it's black. Why do you want to lick me? Why do you want to lick me? Why do you want to lick me? Look at this. Look at this. Look at me cow hugging. Look at me cow hugging, man. Oh, you don't want it? Your camera shy? Hello, honey. This is the best. Cow hugging. No? Oh, he's camera shy. We need some private time. Our next activity is... A cheese making shop. Ooh. Yeah, baby. Look, the scent here. The scent. Oh, oh wow. It's really warm here. And it smells like milk and cows and grass. Wow. Hello. Wow. See how warm it is? Oh, wait. No, I shouldn't be there. Wow! So this is fresh cheese from this morning. Now it's square, and he's going to put it. And he's going to make the cheese round. Can you see how warm it is here? No wonder it's so hot here. This cheese is 47 degrees hot. Like what? Did I know that? Can you hear the music by the way? It's epic. After the cheeses are round, they go into a salt bath and they stay here for 24 hours. And after that, they go to rest. They can be ready within four to six weeks, but of course that's the mild variation. Look at this cheese corn, man. So much. And over here are all the small cheeses. Uh, they can also be ready within four to six weeks. They also do workshops with groups like for companies and they make their own cheese. That's so cool. So the cheese is quite tough labor. You have to take out, especially the young cheeses, you have to take them out every day. And one cheese is like five to eight kilos. You have to brush them with salt water and then put it back every single day for like four to six weeks at least. So uh, they are very happy that a lot of cheese is being sold. Right now they have sold, since May, uh, 1,000 kilo of cheese. And every year they, they sell like, how much? 12,000, 12, I think 12,000 kilo. Good for them. We have a glass of elk milk to try. And there's also fondue coming. Mm. Mm. It's really, really creamy. So good. Fondue. You can't go to Switzerland and not have fondue, man. Come on. Yeah, you're happy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like with the raclette? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. I'm gonna try the fondue. Mm -mm. Wow. Amazing. We are hiking back to the train station because we have to head back to the airport, unfortunately. But seriously, look at this cow paradise around me. Like they're all chilling on the hills, taking naps. They're, they're just like, no curse given. Chilling around. Currently driving back an epic route back to Zurich. Look at that. <laughs> Freaking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Checked in and we went through security control. But we were stressing out like crazy. <laughs> Our GPS was a freaking troll. It sent us in the wrong direction to the center of Zurich, where uh, like it was rush hour. And again, 
we seriously saw like when we got out of that you know uh, rush hour we saw a road sign uh, Flughafen airport and this mother flipping troll said no go to the left yeah no <laughs> so that's when we stopped listening to the GPS and we said F you GPS and we're going to the airport your hand bagage moet veilig weggeborgen Bye to Lynn. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything. It was bye, so Marta. Cool. <laughs> bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. And I forgot to end the vlog. I hope you are just as impressed with Switzerland as I am because it was truly exceeding all my expectations. Hello. Oh, cutie pie. If you like these vlogs, put a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button because I make travel vlogs and you can travel along. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.